So in the early years of the WHA, you heard stories about players who couldn't really fully make it in the NHL but became superstars in a new association. And this guy who was part of the French Connection, the original French Connection in front of Flyers in the early years, he eventually made it to the LA Kings and jumped to the WHA and became one of the Quebec Nordiques top three skaters of all time. So today we're talking about the legendary and the legend of the great Serge Bernier. Now Serge Joseph Bernier, born April 29, 1947 in Padot, Quebec, uh, played seven seasons in the NHL for the Flyers, Kings and Nordiques and played six years in the WHA where he scored uh, 230 goals uh, in uh, the, the existence of the association. His goals uh, in the WHA were a third most for the Nordiques during their time in the league behind Ralph Colucci and Mark Tardif. He also was the first draft pick in Philadelphia history. Now in 2010, Bernie was part of the initial group of players elected to the World Hockey Association Hall of Fame. Now, Bernier uh, can be best described as a two-way forward, 6-1-1-90. First game in a major uh, prominence uh, in the minor leagues of Quebec, where he played for the Matin Castano, uh, the Quebec Senior League, and the Sorel uh, Epavier of the QJHL in 66 and 67. He eventually found his way to the NHL with one game in 69 after playing the full uh, 68 campaign with the Quebec Aces. 67-70 uh, draft year with Sorel, 83 points in 33 games, including 37 goals. Now, he played for the Aces as their hometown hero for a couple of seasons. Finally broke through a three in 71 Philadelphia. 23 goals and 28 assists for 51 points. Eventually he found his way to the Flyers. Uh, I mean the Kings via the Flyers. 23 goals combined, 72. First season of the uh, Nordiques, he was still in the, uh, the NHL. Uh, 68 points in 75 games with LA. But uh, the the dedication to uh, the Quebec teams were deep in his mind. He jumped to the WHA in 74, 86 points that year in 74 games, 37 goals. Then the career season in 75 with 54 goals and 122 points in 76 games. Now he led uh, uh, Quebec to an AFCO Cup in 77. Uh, 96 points in 74 games, including 43 goals and 36 in 17 playoff games to, uh, again, help them to the crown. Back-to-back uh, -back seasons of 26 and 36 goals in 78-79. Quebec protect them for the uh, shift to WNHL, but uh, at that time his uh, overall, uh, what do you call, uh, scoring effectiveness was down. Only scored 10 points in his last 46 games in the NHL in 81. Uh, final NHL totals, 197 points in 302 games, uh, including 78 goals. WHA, 556 points in 417 games, including 230 goals. And playoffs, 74 points in 49 games, including 28 goals. And it was a big part of Team Canada at the Summit Series in uh, 74. Now, injuries were a big problem uh, about Serge's career. We'll get into this in a, in a quick second. Now, he played the WHA All-Star game uh, for, uh, six consecutive seasons between 74 and 79. Played uh, much. He played mostly center uh, for Quebec, and he led uh, the Quebec in scoring in 74. He was the Quebec all in leading scorer trophy winner in 74, and he led Quebec in goals, points, and assists in 75, and second in the in the league in goals, fourth and sixth, third in points. He again won the Quebec all the leading scorer award in 75. Made the WHA All-League All-Star second team in 75. He led Quebec in playoff assists and points in 1976. Again, was the playoff MVP for Quebec in 77. He led the entire league in playoff goals, assists, and points in 77, which was then a league record. He was also on the Quebec team that took part in the Zvestia Cup tournament in Moscow in 77, and he also led the Quebec in playoff assists uh, in 1978. Now, he played on the WHA All-Star team that swept Moscow Dynamo in a three-game series at Edmonton in January 79 and scored a winning goal in Game 3. 
he held, uh, he still holds the WJ record for points in a playoff year, uh, uh, goals in a playoff year, and assists in a seven-game playoff series. Now, he uh, his induction to the Hall of Fame was well noted. Will the Hockey Hall of Fame bring him in? Hard to tell, because uh, only one title. So uh, we'll have to see. Now, interesting trades of Avi came in two years. He was traded by Philadelphia with Bill the Suck and Jim Johnson to LA in exchange for Bill Flett, Eddie Joel, Jean Paul Van Ross Lonsbury, one of the biggest deals of the early expansion years of the AHL. Now, the, initially, the WGA rights were, were owned by Ottawa, but he traded them to Quebec on June 4, 73, in exchange for future considerations. Now, he entered the NHL with Quebec as one of four players the team was allowed to protect in its final WHA season. Now, he also missed uh, yeah, some bad injuries in career, missed part of 69 with a broken hand, missed part of 78 with a knee injury, uh, missed several games in 81 with a pulled stomach muscle, and... Uh, the, the person that he actually called him Le Gros Tutu, which means there's no literal translation in English, but the big teddy bear. Very genial, very good with the fans, very good with his teammates. And, uh, you know, to play all those consecutive years in Quebec in the AHL, in the AHL of WHA, uh, just tremendous. Of course, he ran uh, his own uh, very famous bar in Matin, Quebec, after his retirement. Uh, a lot of people who checked it out said one of the best sports bars in all of Quebec. Now, the Ottawa Nationals actually initially took him in 72 and eventually traded his rights. Now, he set a Philadelphia record for most points in the game versus Pittsburgh on December 26, 71. Uh, and also was a roommate of Bill Clement. I can imagine what those conversations were like. Bill, the cerebral guy, and Serge, the joker. Now, the big line, of course, was him, Tardif, and Cloutier in Quebec. Probably a fifth, top five line of all time. Now... His line in uh, Philadelphia was quite interesting as well. Gary Dornhofer and Jim Johnson uh, were his line mates. Now, unfortunately, uh, negative part, part was he was caught for drug possession in 1985 and eventually pled guilty in October 85 for those crimes. Now, in Philadelphia, he played on the uh, 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 KCB line with, uh, with Bob Kelly and uh, Bob Clark in Philadelphia for the second half in 72. And uh, the Quebec Senior Double-A League, of course, as well, has named his All-Star MVP trophy in Bernie's honor. That came in 2000. So uh, quite, a, quite a number of accolades in all different shapes or form. But when Cloutier, Bernier, and, uh, and Tardif were on their best, I'm telling you something, man, they were flying. Where they're, they're flying. But uh, when you come from Sorel and in, in the queue, uh, you have to come in playing because uh, some people said he almost was the only number five that could be considered number one. But like I said, he was a, uh, he was a work in progress. And when he hit the WHA, with that more open style, it was it was perfect for him. So if you like what we're doing with our podcast here, especially on the old WHA stars, give us a like, comment, subscribe. We're going to be doing a few over the next couple of days, uh, taking a break from the regular NHL. And uh, enjoy the playoffs, ladies and gentlemen. And don't forget, Game 2 is just as important as Game 1. Thanks for listening. Bye.